My man Brandon asked me about MIDI interfaces um, for the Commodore Amiga and what Brandon was saying, busy, I'm trying to get my Amiga 500 hooked up with a GoTech drive uh, so I can actually use it for Octobed. I have a pretty fresh cosmetically working A500 that came from England last winter. I got around to playing a few games and it loaded it up on a floppy that it came with. The guy sent it with floppies of games. Uh, some instruction manuals and a joystick or two. What I need to know is I need to get Rockin, aka the MIDI HDMI or whatever conversion to get the best picture out of the monitor. Um, I use uh, a modern flat screen for my computer and right now, so yeah, those three things, GoTech MIDI and Display Apple. All right, so let's try and uh, sort that all out. So for your MIDI interface, you could go for a retro interface like this. I do remember that I used to have one of these. Uh, this will give you kind of, I believe, multi-outs, but it's untested. Uh, but the easy way to go about it, to be fair, is to get yourself one of these little serial cables. you got to find a, like a serial cable to MIDI. And basically what that would do is you plug that into the back of your Mega 500. There's like a parallel support. You plug that in. And then on the back, um, you you know the, on the on the back of the lead there, you've got the uh, the MIDI in which you plug your keyboard into if you want to play. But remember, if you use an Octomed, you can use the keyboard on the actual computer itself, the QWERTY keyboard. That works good for playing music on Octomed as well. You can play samples. That's ninety nine percent of the time. That's how I used to do it. Um, and then. Um, this is your output to any outboard gear, or your Akai's, etc. So that feed a MIDI signal out. So that's the MIDI part taken care of. Now, in terms of the GoTech, uh, there's plenty of GoTechs online for Amiga. Now, one thing the GoTech is configured for would be um, a Commodore Amiga. Uh, there's loads of loads of them on eBay that you could get hold of. Um, and pre-configured I could probably have a go at prefiguring one of these but to be honest um, I haven't actually done one for the Amiga yet um, I've just been able to just use the floppy drives I've got for now um, but as you can see you can get them that, oh, that's quite expensive for the Amiga uh, 100 and something pound 51 you know I'd say about 30 to 40 pounds yeah it's, it's a fair shout uh, you could even probably get an external one because the beauty of a lot of these Amigas is you can have an internal drive and an external drive so you wouldn't necessarily have to modify it if you bought an external one like this um, you could then potentially just plug that straight into your Amiga and it would work um, so that's an option in terms of the screen now I would have thought that it would be Amiga to VGA um, how's mine connected? Um, I think I've got mine on my on mine connected through the VGA uh, port. Let's have a quick look behind it. Oh shit, no, I don't want to move that because it will probably throw down my whole my whole monitor. But I think you can get Amiga to VGA and use your VGA port, uh, and that should be able to do it. There you go, RGB to VGA. So you've got a VGA monitor there. You could use that, look, Amiga, uh, Amiga Kit do them. Uh, go to AmigaKit.com. they got a lot of solutions for Amigas over there as well. So it might be worth checking on there to see what you can find. Amiga Kit, there you go. Go to Amiga Kit, see what they got there. Uh, they got cables, plenty of stuff there. Look, HDMI cables. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to come straight out of your Amiga. Let's have a look here. I, I wouldn't recommend that. No, they're just telling you, telling you bland cables. We want Amiga cables. Hold on, let's try Amiga cables. Now, I know it's Amiga kit. They should already have Amigas there. It's a bit weird. Why would they do HDMI cables? Just raw cables. Monitor TV cables. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, look, they sell it here. Look, here it is. This is basically what you want. Because um, on the back of the Amiga, 
Let's have a look. Unbuffered and buffered. Don't ask me what that is. Someone comment down below. Let's shed some light on that. VJ adapter uh, for the Amiga RGB port. So the Amiga goes RGB. You convert your RGB to VGA. Connect your VGA to HDMI, I guess, or VGA to a VGA port on your monitor. Uh, now, if you really wanted to splash out, depending on what, if you want to upscale, you can upscale your Amiga uh, to high quality and what you'd need is you'd need an HDMI upscaler and you can spend like 300 quid I've got like a Chinese one uh, Japanese one and it's really good make uh, HDMI upscaler and uh, yeah so I've been through all of these um, even though some of these do work the cheaper ones uh, if you want to live stream and stuff with it it's just not going to uh, do your graphics cards any good any of capture cards just not compatible with these sort of things but if you go for something pricier is hold on I'll show you one if I can find it here you go this is it frame master you could go for like a frame master and this will make your flipping Amiga have HDMI quality having said that there are some upgrades that you could look into as well I've seen some uh, rumors of some upgrades where you can plug in something and do some mods to your Amiga if you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing and I would just recommend either getting something like this or if not um, just going through the RGB port and having that converted to VGA because that's just as good mate to be honest um, that works quite good so I hope that's answered all your questions man um, if you got anything out of this video please give it a big thumbs up and share it with any friends who are trying to do the same thing uh, yeah happy new year everyone it's new year's day long night last night great live stream uh, take care god bless peace out